biomes are places unique with their own kind of climate and plants. There are eight planets in our solar system. But Mars is the most likely to be colonized. To do that, we must learn to manufacture our own food in a hostile environment. Humans would need to create an artificial biome to grow food. In this activity, students will measure and collect data to organize information into a graph. Take measurements of a plant experiment group. Its height, length, and width. Multiply height times length times width. To calculate the volume of a rectangular prism. After you collected your data, Go down to your data log and click it. And then place in the plant number and also its volume. Do this for each plant. Once that's complete, click the top left corner, drag it down, and then go up to the drop down menus. We're going to click insert and make a chart. Determine what type of chart you want to use. Click one of your choices and see if it works by clicking next. Determine whether you want to use column or row chart. Try one and if that doesn't work, try the other. Once you go on, you'll need to place a chart title. This tells us about our experiment. Also, you'll need to put an x-axis and y-axis. This tells what we're measuring. We'll need to put the plant dates and names. And also the volume that we calculated. Once that's completed, we'll need to resize our graph. You can do that by grabbing the corner and pulling it into place. You can also change the colors by doing a right mouse click and changing its format. Now I need to copy the graph into my folder by clicking the background. Then do a right mouse click on the object. Then go to Start, and then Programs. Go up to Accessories, find your Paint Program. We're going to paste this object into Paint. First we select the Attributes, and make it small. One by one will do. Click OK. Click the select icon. And then we're going to paste it. Then simply save it into your folder by going to Save As. And we need to find the desktop by clicking the opening. Find your class folder. and then your folder.
The diagonal line is an example of linear growth.